Hello everyone, my name is Baldwin, and today I'm here to talk about the idea of dreams and aspirations. The way I perceive this world, it feels like a lot of times you're meant to stay within societal expectations, especially when it comes to your age. In these past two years, I've had many struggles of my own, whether that's academic struggles, social struggles, or struggling to become the best virgin that I can be. But one thing I've never doubted was who I wanted to become and the dream I wanted to pursue. I find that to be a gift, occasionally a double-edged sword, but I always come back to be more certain that this roll down propulsion was something that I wanted to do in the future. Life is always changing and you can never be certain, but there are times where you have to gamble on yourself. And this was my way of fulfilling that promise, to achieve something that I could be proud of myself for. And here I am, talking about how that journey began and where I am now. To start off, I'd like to begin with one of my favorite quotes from The Alchemist. When you want something, the universe conspires in helping you to achieve it. And later, I hope it becomes clear why this is one of the quotes I resonate with the most. This whole sequence began in my eighth grade summer with the game called the Kerbal Space Program. It was a game about space exploration where different users built their different spacecraft and explored different planets. Although it was only a game, it planted a seed in me that has continued growing to this day. Because after that summer obsession, I started looking into rockets in the real world. And soon, it began incorporating itself into my life. Something out of the blue, and I'm in no way exaggerating it. But one day I woke up and decided that I wanted to build rockets. Yes, I woke up at 5 in the morning, I saw a video of others creating sugar-based propellants, and I decided to do the same. Disclaimer. The fact that I was 15 did not stop me whatsoever. But that began my first encounter with the field of propulsion as well as homemade propellants. I began experimenting out of front yard with different potassium nitrate based fuels as well as additives. And that lasted for months. Back then, it was all I cared about. However, my journey doesn't stop there though because that was actually only the beginning. What took it to the next level was my first internship at Taiwan's Advanced Rocket Research Center. That was not easy to get. Actually, I didn't even know if they took interns at a time, nor what a single internship looked like. But the truth was, I didn't care. I wanted it so bad that I was willing to do anything to get it. And this leads me to my first point, that you have to be daring and ambitious in your pursuit of your dream. And before the internship, actually, I started my first group called the Global Student Rocket Initiative. There were 11 of us, and each week, we would research on different components related to rocketry, like the Van Allen radiation belt and the convergent divergent nozzles. This group was disbanded six months later, at around late November. And although I have to say that to a certain extent, I was not so sure where it was going. But in retrospect, it was my first step, and honestly, that's all it mattered. People often like to ask me why I bothered to put in the effort. And although I don't say this out loud, it's because it's one of the things that gives me a sense of purpose. It's one of the things that drives me to be the best virgin that I can be. And that's why I learned calculus in my sophomore year, hoping it would help me understand the equations which govern fluid dynamics. Following the disbandment of GSRI, I founded AERD, otherwise known as Amateur Experimental Rocket Zaka, in the spring of 2020, 2022. This time, it was to create sugar propellants and eventually a sugar-based rocket which we would launch. This soon changed after my second internship at AC, where I spent the majority of my summer alone living in the city of Shinshu. Having spent more than 250 hours at the lab, I learned more than I could ever imagine. For the first time, I learned to use an oxygen cylinder, an air compressor, and all other sorts of valves that I even knew existed. It was there I learned everything I knew here today. And together with five other interns, we compiled a database of regression rates at various oxidizer mass fluids. You know, we would work from 10 in the morning to 5 or 6 in the afternoon, but none of that bothered me because each second being there to me was worth it. I've never lived a more fulfilling life. Even if that meant I had to buy 40 minutes a day to go there and back, or commute back to Thailand on the weekends, or even live in a whole new city. None of that hustle mattered because each day I was there, I lived another day I would not regret. That's the kind of life we should all be living, isn't it? Fast forward to August 2022, AERD transitions into a hybrid oriented research group. And from scratch, I sourced almost the entire setup from Taiwan. 
and from being completely clueless. We wired our first time in Relay, and then built our first pneumatic system, then was the pressure system, then were the CAD files and the ignition system, and then came our first hot fire. taken. Individually, that took us 130 hours over the course of four months, from August to late November. Till this day, we have been working relentlessly with the goal of publishing several papers before we graduate. And this is where I give a shout out to the following members, Liam Novak, Sam, Yama Servi, and Shalip Abedin, because without them, none of this would have been possible. Not just me, but all of us spend a chunk of our time each weekend at, at UP's garage, pushing through our very own limits and struggles. Nowadays, with a new field to get through and an entire checklist, we leave on Thursdays at 3.30 in the afternoon and don't come back until 11 in the evening. As you can imagine, we're all exhausted by the time we're back, but that didn't stop any of us from going the very next weekend. The point I'm trying to get across is that you are ultimately responsible for the path you will take. You can be scared of the future. You can be scared that things don't work out. But if you don't believe in yourself, who will? Because there are times where I could have spent hanging out with friends or enjoying the other things that I like, but I choose to spend my life fighting for suing for this dream because it's that one thing which makes me whole. Back to the quote by Paulo Coelho, you just have to believe that things will line up. Three years ago, I would have not believed that I would intern at ARC or that I would have my own hybrid setup more capable than if not all high school student groups when it comes to research and rocketry. The stars aligned for me, yes, but I sure paid my way to get there. The truth is, I've doubted myself at every single of these stages of progressions feeling like an imposter. But you just have to know to not let these doubts drag you down and instead, keep pushing. And so if it's not clear enough, follow your dreams, everyone, because the longer you hold on to it, the sooner it'll manifest itself into reality. Thank you.